Hello, my name is Kim Duell, aka Pinkachu, and I'm here today to show off my housing plot in Wildstar. Um, I have named it uh, Hogelwarts, which is kind of a pun on Hogwarts, and when I go upstairs you'll see why. I am with the Chaos Reborn Guild. I'm an officer there, have been for several years. Um, been through several MMOs with the same people. But today I want to show you what I'm doing here. Uh, this is my rocket house which I got for pre-ordering, so it's no longer available. I uh, have some decor items. The Elden Relic is actually from the deluxe edition of Wildstar. Propane tanks, there's a generator on the wall, mechanical arm, couple of engines, fuel tank, and those are model ships that I blew up as big as they would go. Normally the ground out here is grass and dirt. Uh, I put in tile and walls instead. And I did have to raise the tile up a little bit because the grass was showing through. And I'll show you the grass over here so you can see that it's still under there. Now, I do like this force field. It actually goes around your entire plot. Um, but I like the way it wraps around with my tile and wall because it kind of gives it that science fiction effect of being able to drop the um, wall down to let ships in and out. Now I'll show you what the inside of my rocket house looks like, uh, even though I don't currently use it as a house. No, the walls were not pink originally. I changed it to that color. And I have a few tails. Uh, travel travel posters up here. I have more of those in my house upstairs that I've built. And then some of these these few decor pieces that are in here are actually from the housing quest in Ilium. So we'll run upstairs and I'll show you what I got going on up there. Okay, so you'll be able to see now why I called it Hoogelwurz. Um, there's three statues over there. Those are um, Hoogles, which are an orange type of owl. And the building itself is pretty big. Um, I use it kind of a guild hall dorm building. And I'll show you the rooms and stuff in that. Over here we have trees and signs on posts. Uh, the reason that they're sitting on posts is because I'm unable to build the buildings that I wanted over here. Inside the rocket house, there is a decor item limit of 800 pieces. I don't know where I'd put 800 pieces inside that house, but that's what it is. Uh, there are bigger houses available. As you get, I think, over a certain level, you can actually purchase a larger house if you have the platinum to purchase it from the housing vendor. But to me, 800 is still a lot for that. Outside of your rocket house, the decor limit stops at 300. And I'll show you on my screen. If you can see this, my decor place is at 297 of 300. And that's with hardly anything out here. Um, that includes tile, floors, walls. Hopefully, and I've posted in the forums, as have many others who are also stuck at the same limit and have done what I've done uh, as far as building custom houses rather than using the original ones. Hopefully someday they'll raise it up and I'll be able to do more out here. So inside, this first section is my guild hall area. I do have more tails posters in here. There's two on Elevar that I have completed that are not available on my housing vendor as travel posters and I have no idea why. So I don't know if it's character specific or if everybody has the same issue, but there are two on Elevar that I can't buy to put up. 
Over here I have a big screen TV, a couple of couches. This table, this is the Dominion conference table. I guess that's great if your conference is only four people. I really expected it when I purchased it to be more of a long guild table, but unfortunately it's not. It's still cool looking though, so I still put it in here. Now over here is my kitchen area. Uh, the stove, the fireplace, well, the stone fireplace over here and this stove here were built by my architect. Uh, it was an alt character. This particular fireplace I bought off the auction house as well as a neon sign. The um, fully stocked bar I purchased off the housing vendor. And I've seen a couple other neon signs. I'm really fond of this one. I'm hoping that they come out with more of those because I would have really liked to put them all the way around. So that's the first floor. Here on the second floor, I have a few rooms. There's one here. And one here. Then on this other side, I have a room here. This is actually a bathroom. Uh, if you're going to be stuck at a decor limit, you should at least get a toilet. This is Pink's room. When I made this house, my plan, not as before I realized there was a, the limit was 300 pieces, um, my plan was to invite my guildies over and let them decorate these rooms themselves. Unfortunately, they would be stuck to my limit. Um, so they're empty and they're going to stay that way until something changes. So we'll go up to the third floor. And again, here's another issue with the decor limit. Um, these are also meant to be rooms. There's two here, two on this side, and they are unfinished. But we can go up and go to the roof. So up here you can see what it looks like down there. And some other housing. Those aren't really um, other players out there, the housing plots. I think they just put those up there to kind of make it look like you're not alone. And I don't know what the sky limit is on housing plots. Um, I've dropped a wall over on the end there and made it go as big as I could just to see if it would touch a ceiling of some sort, and it didn't. So I'm not exactly sure how far up you can go. But I do know I can die if I jump off of here. No. And there you go. And I'm doing this specifically for a reason. And I'll show you that. Again? It's a pity we don't offer a bulk discount. And the reason I'm showing this um, is because there's a glitch here, if I can make it happen. There we go. And through the floor I go. No. Only to die again. But the reason I want to show you this is because it's actually pretty cool under here. Uh, apparently the world is round. There's some jagged mountains and some housing out there. And if you ever want to know what the underside of your house looks like, there you go. It's a big floating rock. Dead again? Ever thought of settling down? Alrighty, so if you do obviously put tile down like I did and raise it up a little bit, you're probably going to run into the same issue. The um, Ecto Crypt is stuck to the ground, so it doesn't raise up with your tile and there's no way to move it. Uh, but uh, fortunately there is an escape button. So we can easily get out of it. 
anyway, that is my housing plot. I hope you enjoyed the video. If I do get a chance to um, add more to it at some point, I will certainly show another video or just redo this one. And thanks for watching.